I'm Hannah Marty. I'm a musician specializing in medieval music. In my work, I aim to reconstruct or recreate songs that have only been transmitted in a fragmentary form, for example, only as texts without their corresponding melodies. I was asked by Dr. Anne Buckley of Trinity College in Dublin to join into a project of recreating a musical version, a sung version of the Avra Kolomkile. And in this video, we would like to introduce this project to you. In a concert, my aim is not to give my audiences the one correct version of a song. That would be impossible because we will never know what medieval music actually truly sounded like. I'd rather let them come into contact with a musical culture that would otherwise not come alive at all. So in my work with these old fragmentary songs, I am reworking these pieces with the historical instruments that I have today, with my knowledge of medieval music in general. But of course the process is happening in this time, just as I am of this time. And with this creative process, I hope to share with my listeners an opportunity to come into contact, into a dialogue with their own past. The Avra Kolomkile is a text in Old Irish, which is not a language that is still spoken today. Learning to pronounce and understand enough of Old Irish was not an easy task. I have worked with quite a few medieval European languages, like Old Norse or Old English, Old German, Middle German, but Old Irish is unlike any of them. So I was very fortunate to work with an expert in that field and get the help of Professor Damien McManus of Trinity College in Dublin. Since no melodies are transmitted for singing or reciting the Avra Kolomkile, I had to get creative. Anne Buckley and I chose as a musical model the Planctus Cigni, the Lament of the Swan. This is a Latin sequence and as the name says it is also a lament, just as the Avra Kolomkile has certain elements of a lament. I also found its archaic melodies quite suitable for this rather early medieval text. So I took several characteristic melodic phrases of the Latin sequence of the Planctus Cigni and formed a sort of compendium of musical gestures that I wanted to use in my piece. And I then started improvising with these little elements over my old Irish text. And that is how eventually I sort of worked out and recreated my version of the Avra Kolomkile. <laughs> <laughs> 